Okay, so today we'll be looking at uh, chapter 17 on the book, uh, which is about regular expression. It's just like a continuation of where we stopped uh, last week. Uh, but this is a very, this is a very huge topic. So I plan to cover this chapter maybe in two weeks. That is, we start today, then we summarize the chapter uh, like next week. So I think uh, earlier this, this afternoon, I think Tim, he messaged me in Slack that he will not be unable to make it uh, for today. But other members of the club, I think maybe they are still, they are still on break. So that is why they have not been able to join us. So today, I uh, will be looking at uh, for the introduction of the book. Uh, the book uh, kind of said that uh, a regular expression uh, is a concise and powerful language for describing pattern uh, within text. The term regular expression, we can also refer to it as either regex or regex expression. So, so we are mainly use a regular expression when we are working with strings. So maybe we can have a string of text, so we can use regular expression to check for a specific pattern uh, within that text. So where we have matches, we can just extract out all those matches. This is a very advanced uh, topic, so I plan uh, to cover it uh, within two weeks. I plan to use two weeks uh, to go through uh, the chapter because it's not a chapter in which we are supposed uh, to rush over. It's a chapter we need to take it uh, bit by bit because if you are learning, reading the chapter for the first time, you need to read and read over again before uh, you, you will be able to really fully understand uh, the chapter. So basically what the packages uh, we'll be using, we'll be using the tidy verse and the data sets in which we'll be making use is coming from this baby names uh, package, but we need to load uh, the, the package first in order for us uh, to have access uh, to these three data sets. We have the fruit, which contains the names of 80 fruits. We also have words, which contain 980 common English words. And we also have sentences, uh, which contains uh, 720 uh, short uh, sentences. So uh, for last week, I think for where we stopped last week, we have seen how we can use uh, the STR view function in which we can use in viewing uh, for a specific uh, pattern uh, within our, uh, our string. So we'll still continue uh, with that approach uh, for our discussion today. So we'll be using this uh, function, which is the STR, STR view. We, uh, what, what is the string in which we are looking at the string? The name of the string is fruits. The pattern in which uh, we want to check for within the fruits is berries. So we want to check within fruits where we have these matches, which is uh, berries. So we can see that the result from our results, this is a match. This is a match. Uh, this one match the, our string. This one match our pattern. This one match our pattern. This one match our pattern are also eight more. But in, in, in other case, we can say str rule, we pass in the string. Then this, uh, the berry is in uppercase letter. So in order for us, once we run this, we'll see that we, we get no output because actually the berry we are to check for, it is lowercase. Uh, and it is uh, what we are passing in as a pattern is uppercase. So in order for us uh, to be able to get these same outputs, we need to convert our pattern back uh, to a lowercase with the, I think the STR uh, underscore lower function that is coming uh, from, the, for, from the string R package. I don't know if there are any question before we proceed into the next part because we have already seen this uh, from our discussion last week. We did this a lot. So for letters and numbers, match exactly are called uh, literal characters. If we want to match either letters or number, punctuation character lies period, plus star, open brackets, close bracket, and equation might have special meaning. And are called, we call them, meta characters for example period will match any character so a 
A and period will match any letter A followed by any other followed by any other character. So we can have str a view, which is our function. Then this is a string uh, we are passing in, which is a, a, b, a, e, e, d, e, a, and e, a, b. So the pattern we want to check for, and we want to check for the string that starts with the letter a and any other any other words period means that any other alphabet that follows A. So you can see here we have AB, here we have AE, here, here we have AB because E is out. E is out, this one also matches. So, oh, we can also use uh, the function this way, str view, our string, then the pattern we are checking for letters that start with A, it followed with what, three other, three other letters, and then it, it must end with what, E. It start with A, it follows with three other uh, letters, and the end of the letter must be E. So what, where do we have that? Apple start with letter A, it starts after letter A, we have three other letter, which is PPL, and it must end with letter what E. So we have this BL is out. Uh, so we have letter A here. We have three other letter. We have letter E. Okay. So we have we have our our letter A. We have three other letter. It end with letter E. We have letter A here. Three other letters. So. So that is basically that for this, checking for a specific pattern, and, uh, where that pattern match, we can get our results. So uh, uh, this basically talks about uh, quantifiers, control how many times a pattern can match. So quantifier help us to control how many times in which a pattern match. So here we have our question uh, mark, which makes a pattern optional. That is, it matches either zero or one times. So when we have a plus sign, it lets a pattern repeat. That is, it matches at least once. It, it lets a pattern to repeat. It must match that pattern at least one time. This one lets a pattern to be optional or repeat. That is, it matches any number of times, including uh, including zero. So how do we how do we check that? So we said str view the view we pass in our string and the pattern we want to check a b and question mark. So this one will this one matches a it also matches a b and this is also a b. Okay, so this other one, it matches A, B plus, matches an A, followed by at least one, it followed by at least one B. So we have str view, this is our string. So we can go to our studio so that we'll be sure that uh, this is the same output we are getting. So that let's see, let's run an example in our studio. Just run this. To load the package. Okay, so when we run that, we can see it's just is the same output just as we got from the book. So that will be sure that we are getting the same the same output. So we can also have A B star which matches an A followed by a number of Bs. So we have A, we have AB, we have ABB. Okay. So there are, this other section is about class, character classes are defined by our two coli, coli, our two square brackets and lets you match a set of character. Example, we want to match A, B, C, D in a specific column that has a string. We want to match A, B, C, D 
which matches A, B, C, D, we can do it. But if we want to match every other, every other character except A, B, C, D, we can escape it this way. We can use our, uh, our raised to the power symbol, just say A, B, C, D matches anything except A, B, C, D. We can also use this idea to find word with three vowels or four consonants in a row. So how do we do that to find vowels with three? With, uh, we can find vowel with three, three vowels and four consonants in a row. So this is, we have three vowels here. We want to check for A, A, E, O, U. A, A, E, O, U, A, A, E, O, U. So this is what we, this is a pattern we want to check for in every word. So we are using the STR view function, okay? So where that pattern matches, you can see it's going to surround it with our greater than and le uh, the, our greater than, less than and greater than sign. So it's going to surround, it's going to surround it there. We can see where we have matches. Uh, we can see where we have matches here. Uh, here we have matches here. This pattern meets here. Here we have. So, but when we want to check for uh, for, con for the consonants, okay? So how do we do that? We need to use our raised to the power symbol to say that we, we want every other thing except the vowels. So this one is going to return, is going to read the outputs we are going to get, we are going to get every other words except, uh, except the vowel. So once we do this, we know that we are, we are escaping. We need, we need all consonants except the vowel, which is R, A, E, or O. The same thing goes here, the same thing goes here, the same thing goes here. So when we run this, okay, we are going to get our results which shows that uh, this is where we have true. Yeah, we have true, yeah. Yeah, we have true, yeah. Yeah, we have true, yeah. And yeah, we have true, yeah. I don't know, is there, are there any question, any burning question so that I can answer before we proceed? Hello? No, we don't have, I don't have question. So it's clear. So let me proceed. You can combine character classes and quantifier. For example, the following regular expression look for two vowels followed by two or more two or more consonants. So here we have our str view. Uh, the string is words. So we are looking for two vowels followed by what two or more consonants. This plus means that. We need more than two consonants. So, uh, and where we have matches, so we can see in our outputs where we have matches, where we have the matches, uh, where that our pattern is true, we can see uh, that. So, but as we proceed, we'll see further how we are going to use another function, which is uh, XTR's uh, sub or XTR uh, replace all to get uh, those actual, that one is in the next section, we, we will soon get there. So we can also use alternation. So we can use alternation to pick between one or more alternative patterns. So how do we do that? Uh, we have STR view, uh, the pattern, uh, the string is fruits. So we want either apple or pear or banana. So here we have apple, here we have banana, here we have pear, where we have uh, apple. So we also have STR view fruits. So we want every, uh, either we want A, E, I, O, or U. So those are the pattern we want to check for within these fruits. So it's going to return, it's going to return, it's going to return our outputs. So these other parts, key functions. So in this key function, We'll leave str view and use another function that is coming uh, from the string 
from the string out package, which is the str detect. So this str detect, it normally returns uh, a logical vector of either true and false, and this vector uh, will be the same length as the inputs are vector. So here we have str detect. So we pass in a pattern. We pass in our string. Sorry. We pass in our string. We pass in our string. Then what are the pattern we want to check for? Uh, we want to check for every vowels. Do we have every vowels uh, in this string? So the first, we have true. Others, we have false. Because the first letter A, we can find that letter here, A. So here, this returns true. So the other two is false. We can't find it there. But we can combine uh, this str detect within filter. We can see how we can combine it doing our data wrangling process. We can combine this uh, str detect uh, with filter. So what do we do there? We have the, the name of the uh, package. That's how we are using baby names. And then we filter within filter. We use the str detect. So what is the string we want to detect? Uh, the, the name of the string is name. So what is the pattern we are looking for? We want to look for every name that, start, that has the letter X, that has letter X in it. So we want to extract every name that has the letter X, which is the pattern we are looking for. And then we want to count all the name. So the weights should be equals to the number of counts, then sort equals to true to arrange them uh, in, in descending order. So here we have Alexander, which is the top most. We have Alexis, we have Alex, we have Alexandra, we have Max, Alexandra, and 968 more rows. So we can also combine this str detect with summarize with sum and also with mean. So we can see how we can do that. We can have baby names. Uh, we group it by the year. And then we summarize the proportion of X, which is mean, str detect, name that starts with X. And then we pipe this to ggplot to visualize the aesthetics. X, we say year, Y, proportion of X plus Zoom line, which means we need a line graph. We want to visualize it uh, using uh, the line graph. So we can see uh, how we can see how the low the lowercase x, how the letter x has increased uh, more recently, it has increased. We have a higher level of increase of that letter over time. So there are two functions uh, in which they discuss uh, that are closely related to str detect, namely we have str subsets, which return just the strings uh, that contains a match. So str subsets is going to return that string that contain that match. It's always going to give us that. We, and we also have str which, which returns the index of strings that have a match. So this uh, will be very useful. There are some specific cases. Maybe we want to get just the index within that string that has the match. So we can know that we can use uh, these other functions uh, that is coming uh, from the string R. So in this case, we have str subsets. We pass in a string. We check for this pattern. We can see that the results, we only got A because where we have true was only uh, the first position. So when we have the index, to know the index, we have to use str which we pass in the string, check the pattern. So it's just the first uh, uh, the first letter a that is position one, which is the index one. That is what we got there. So there uh, we can also combine this str detect. Uh, we can use str counts to rather counts. The, the number of times. So here we have in our, our, our string, which is uh, X, which is apple, which is banana and pear. Then we want to count every item, str counts. 
we pass in our string and the pattern we are checking for is P. So we want to check how many times do we have P in, from, in this string. So the first item we have two, the second item we have uh, zero, in the third item we have P one time. So we can get uh, that result out. Uh, we can also come, we can also use str counts uh, with a regular uh, with a regular expression. In this way, uh, we have uh, str counts. This is our string. We check for this pattern. Uh, we are checking for a b a. How many times do we have a b a in our string? So in this case, we have a b a here, which is one. Okay, so we are going to skip, the string is going to skip the B and go to A, B, A, which is going to make it to, because if you look at the, the notes in which they put here, note that each match starts at the end of the previous match. So the end of this match is here. So we're going to, we are going to stop at B and start another counting, A, B, A. So that is why we have two here. But if you want to use the STR view, STR view makes everything simplified for us. We have the first match, we stop here. This is the second match. Any question? Because this looks uh, tricky, but the second line, the STR view makes everything uh, to be clear for us. We can see we have ABA, okay, which is the first match. So we then, may, then we pause at position B, then we have another A, B, A. So that's why in STR counts, uh, we are having the matches uh, to be two. So, so we, we also, we can also combine this uh, with motets. That is to create motets. We all know what motet is doing, uh, is to create a new column within our data frame. So we have the data set, which is uh, the baby names, and then we are counting all the name, and then we mutate to create a new column called vowels. Then we say str counts, the string is name. Uh, the pattern we are looking for, for is every vowel. Here we have consonants. Uh, we are using str counts, the string, and also the pattern we are using the the uh, rest of the power symbol because uh, we do not we want everything except the vowel. So when we do this, we are going to get this result. But who can look at this result for vowels and tell me what is wrong with it? Can you tell me what is wrong with the result? Look at the vowels. Do you detect anything that is wrong? Okay, so without, so that I will save time. If you look at this, this one start with capital A. This one have a smaller A. This one has a smaller A. Normally we are supposed to have three vowels here, okay? We, we are supposed to have three vowels here, but we are having two. We are supposed to have, uh, we are supposed to have three, yeah? We are supposed to have three, yeah? So, but in this case, because here is capital, this is lowercase, uppercase, and lowercase. So R is confused, it not know how to treat we do not know how to treat those uppercase and lowercase. So in order for us uh, to overcome this, we can either escape it by passing in a uppercase symbol to, then we now use ignore case to be true. But in my own case, I will recommend this approach to use the STR to lower, to convert all the names to a lowercase, okay, to convert to use str counts, str to lower name, then the pattern. So in this case, all the name is going to ensure that all the name is being converted 
uh, to a lower case. In that case, uh, if you if you now apply that approach, if you now apply that approach, we can see that our result is now correct uh, for the vowels. If you apply that approach, uh, we have been able to solve that problem by using vowels name str to lower name. Okay, then we now say vowels. We now use our function just the way we did. Consonants, we now say str counts name uh, for all the consonants. So that's, so but how do we replace values uh, within our string? So there are two functions, there are four functions in which we are going to use. We are going to see str replace, but str replace uh, is going to replace uh, just the first match where we have the first match. So that is where str replace is going to replace uh, that where we have just the first match. But str replace all is going to replace all the string where we have that specific pattern is going to replace it by this uh, specific pattern uh, we supply. Why? STR, STR remove and STR remove all, they are opposites of STR replace and STR replace all. They are doing the same thing. STR remove is going to remove uh, uh, all those strings where we have the first uh, match is going to remove all those pattern out. While str remove all is going to remove all those uh, pattern. Everywhere we have that pattern is going to remove it. We'll see an example demo how to do this. So here we have a string. Okay, we are using str replace all. We pass in our string. Uh, this is the pattern uh, we are passing in. Uh, this is uh, our pattern. We want to replace this by this symbol, so we can see where that matches is, where we have matches, so it's going to put this there, it's going to put dash there, it's going to put dash, 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 where we have uh, where we have matches in this. So str remove and str remove all, a handy shortcut for the str replace, because we have x pattern and we have a string. So yeah, this is our string again. We are using str remove all. Uh, our string is x. So what is the pattern we are looking for? All the vowels. So we can just see PPL. But you can see here we have PPL, we have dash dash. So in this case, it just be PPL, PR, PAN. But this one depends on you. It's, it depends on your expected result during your data wrangling process. These are all uh, function because it takes a great effort, a greater deal of time. You need to practice because it's only practice uh, that will make uh, perfection. You cannot just wake up. Uh, you need to practice all this uh, skill in order for you to uh, master it. So how do we extract variables uh, within our string. So I think as we learned last week, we have seen how we can use separate wider regex, separate wider position, and separate wider delay. So I think I showed a brief snapshot when we were discussing uh, about uh, uh, the string R package uh, last week. Uh, and this string R package, I think it has a very good uh, documentation. It has a very, it is a package uh, uh, that is well documented. I just uh, posted uh, the documentation uh, to the to the chat. So, so yeah, we want to see how we can use the separate wider regex uh, to do, uh, to to split this string into three columns. So we have triple, which is a low, a row wise uh, data frame. Uh, the column is str, which is a structure. So we have this pattern, okay? So this pattern, we want to split this pattern using separate uh, wider regex. We just need to construct a sequence of regular expressions that match each piece. If we want the contents of that piece, 
to appear in the output, we give it a name. So here we have DF, which is a, our DF. Then we are using separate wider regex, okay? The string is STL. The, the name of that string is STL because this column has, it has only one column, which is STL. Then the pattern we are looking for, the pattern. We create a character vector, okay, of this pattern. So we say when we have this less than sign, everything after this less than sign, we want to give that column, give it a column called name. Then we are looking for all this pattern. Every thing that is has to do with letters. So we are checking for every letters, either it is uppercase, lowercase, plus anything that is there. So we want to check for this pattern. So, so after, then we, we, anything that matches that pattern, we are putting everything there in a new column. And that column I call uh, that column to be the name. So everything after this greater than and a minus sign, I am, I want to have everything after that, I want to name the, its gender. So for the gender, uh, the pattern we are looking for is dots. As I discussed earlier, period will check for every character. So every character that match, that comes after this, every character, I want it to be go under the gender column. Then comma, after this underscore, everything after the underscore, okay? Then I want it, after that, we want the new column to start after there will be H. So for the H, we are looking for all the numbers, everything that has to do with numeric. Because if you look at this regex, it's a very complex code. So once we run this, we can see that R is just going to go straight. It's going to pull out, it's going to pull out everything here. So let's see how it's being done in R Studio so that you so that you understand what I'm saying. Let's see how it's been done here. What's in the code this year, clear here. Okay, so we, this is our DF. Okay, so if you look at it, it's just going to be like this. Okay, it's just going to be like this. So, so DF, we are using separate wider regex. So once we just run this, you can see how R will just go and split everything. This is the first column, this is the second column, this is the uh, third column. It's very useful, but it takes a while for you to be an expert in regular, uh, in doing regular expression. It takes a while. Uh, for you to be an expert uh, working with a uh, regular expression. So now we want to look at pattern details. Okay, so we'll look at, uh, we were looking at special, we are looking at how to use, work with the escaping, how to escape character, how to use anchors, how to use character classes. We'll be looking, working with a lot of uh, quantifiers uh, operators, uh, precedents. So first of all, we we'll start with the escape character. Just as we learned uh, in our discussion last week, if we have uh, our our forward slash, we know that that is we use forward slash as an escape character. So when we want to escape a specific character within our text, so once we use uh, we, have, we want to escape everything that has a period, so we can just I uh, use two forward, two period, and put our dots there. So this is going to be dot. So we want to escape this. So if we say str view dot, you can see that uh, we get our dots back. Okay. So if we, are, we use str view, we pass in our string. So what do we want to get? We want to as we want to have a forward slash dot C. So we want to get either A or C. So we can see once we run that, R returns where, where, we, where actually we got 
that match, which is this. This is where we got that match, so we can just extract uh, that match out of a string. So we can just extract uh, that match uh, where we have uh, where those condition is true. So when we uh, when we are working with anything like this in R, we know that uh, we know that it's going to be an escape character. So with two escape character. If you check str view, it's going to give us one. When we have four escape character, it's going to result to what? Two, two escape character in R. So we have this as our string. str view on this just shows that it is I, I neither A nor B. So when we have str view, we pass in the string, we put in our escape character, we can get, uh, we can get, uh, we can get, uh, this out. So, like just as I said, period is going to is is going to give us every character. Uh, our dollar sign, we can use dollar sign to match anything that is at the end of the string that begin at the end of the string. This one, either this we. Maybe we have two conditions uh, we want to match. We can use uh, this symbol. So just as example here, they have str view. Uh, they are passing in the string, and they are giving it a pattern to check within this string uh, where we have this pattern. So we can see that that pattern is true here. So it returns true. We can check for this pattern within the string. So it will return, but there are some instances uh, we do this, we might not get outputs, but uh, we keep on keep on trying until we get the actual code that match uh, that pattern. Because when me, I was start uh, working with string at times, I will check for a specific pattern. I am not getting that pattern. I will keep on trying until I'll be able to extract everything uh, I want out of the, out of the string, I think there are some good package uh, uh, in R in which we can use. Also, we can combine it to learn about regular expression. Maybe in our next discussion, uh, mon next week Monday, I will I will introduce that re regex explain uh, package. It's a good uh, it's a good package. It's a good package regex. Uh, let me regex explain. I think GitHub. I can post the repository so that you can just go uh, look at it. I think it's a good uh, developer. It's not this working in our studio. Yeah, this is it? This is it? So I can just post it in the chat. You can. This is the website for the package. You can just click on this. Let's be sure. Okay, you can just read about it. So let me post this in the chat. Post this, you can install the package, add an, it as an add-in. Post it here. Okay, so we can look at that. So I think it's a very, it's a very good package. Uh, it will help you. Uh, so now, okay, let's look at anchors. So we can use this uh, rest of the power symbol to match everything that starts at the beginning of a string. Why, as, as I said, the dollar sign, we can use it to match anything that's begin at the end of a given screen, okay? So now we have str view in our code here. We pass in the string. So this is the pattern. We want every string that starts with the letter A. That is what we are interested in. So we can see that we have apple, apricots, and afogadro. So we can also check the look at the second example. We are having str view. This is a string, okay? The pattern we are looking at, we want every string that ends with the letter A. So we can see we have banana, 
we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this, and we have this. It ends with letter A, uh, which is uh, which is uh, very useful. But there are some instances in which we want R to return. We want R to return the entire the entire string in which we pass in our so the entire pattern. Like we pass in apple, we do not want it to give us something like pineapple. We want it to give us apple back. So in that case, we need to wrap it around rest of the power symbol and the dollar sign. We started with rest of the power symbol and with the dollar sign. So when we run this, we are going to get the same uh, pattern back. We are going to get Apple. We are going to get Apple back. And this is uh, very, very useful. Maybe when we are working, uh, within our studio, we can have summarize X, summarize DF, row sum um, of X. Uh, we have sum of X. Maybe we want to check for sum. We have STR view. We pass in the string, which is X. We check for sum. Uh, we can see what we are getting. This is not actually what we want. What actually we want is this. So how do we achieve that? So we can use this forward slash uh, B, okay, we can use this uh, symbol. Okay, we can use this symbol uh, to, to avoid, to avoid, uh, to avoid matching, summarize, summary, and row sum. So how do we do that? We can just say STR view, we pass in, we pass in our string, okay? Here we are using our escape uh, symbol, we pass in B sum, escape symbol again B. So when we execute this, we are going to just get sum of X, sum of X out of that string. Not we having this, this to this again, just get that specific, that specific uh, string in which we are interested in is going to. So in this case, we can have STR view. This is our string we need this pattern, we need this specific pattern. So R is going to return uh, that pattern back. And this help you to understand what happened when we replace a standalone anchor. So we can replace this anchor using this function, str replace all. We have our string, we have our pattern. We want to replace that pattern with this symbol. So anywhere we have that pattern, is going to put this there, it's going to put this there, put this and put this. And this, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is very, uh, very uh, useful. Uh, I don't know, are there any question up to this or there is anything that is not clear so that I can go back and explain. Can continue. Oh. Okay. Can continue. So character classes. So yeah, we're looking at some character. We're looking at some character classes. So this one, we can check for A to Z, okay? This one can check, we can use it to check for numbers that matches this pattern. Uh, this one, we can use it to check for every other thing, but except A, B, C, uh, we know that this one is escape special characters. So we can use it to extract this same pattern this pattern matches from the specific string. So we can just have, this is our string. This is our string. Then we can use uh, str view. Uh, we pass it our string. So this is the pattern we are looking for. Okay, so where this pattern is true, so R is just going to pull out uh, that pattern. So we have our str view. Uh, we pass in our string. So this is the pattern we are looking for. Everything that start with A to Z plus any other thing we can find within that string. We tell R to pull it out. R is just going to return uh, the output. So this other one, we are looking it to check for every other thing that is not this. Okay, every other thing that is not this. So we can use it to pull it out of the string. Okay, so they do explain that forward slash D matches is used to match any any digits. 
This one matches anything that is not a digit. Uh, this one is used to match any white uh, space. Example, space tab and new line. Uh, this one, we, we use it to match anything that is not a white space. Uh, forward slash W matches any word character that is letters and numbers. Um, forward slash capital W matches any word, any non-word character. So how do we, how do, we do that uh, in R? This is our string, okay? STL, STL view, they pass in the string and we use the check for this pattern. So where this pattern exists, we can pull it out of the string. So STL view, we can just pass in the pattern. It's still the same string. We, we are just passing, we are just alternating uh, different, uh, different uh, quantifiers. We are just looking at uh, uh, character, different character, just passing in different uh, character classes to check for where we have uh, specific matches. So where it is true is going to pull uh, everything out of that string. So quantifiers. So for quantifiers, uh, for quantifiers, uh, what do they mean? You can have a string of this uh, nature, but there are some instances. We can have a string of this nature, okay? We can just say str view, we pass in the string, and also we check for the pattern. So where this pattern is exists within, uh, within the string, so it's just going to pull out where we have trues. It's just going to pull out those results. It's just going to pull it out of the string and it's going to return our output operator precedence and uh, parentheses, okay? So, but in this operator uh, precedence, it's just like our board mass, okay? Which is brackets of addition, but there was a typo when I was reading through the chapter, I think that was on Saturday, I discovered there was, there was a typo in the actual book in which I have made a, I've made a submit, a, pull request with the update where I updated this to board mass, but they are yet to merge it back to the book. So maybe they are busy. So once that has been updated, so in the next time future code are reading this, you will not see bed mass again. It's going to be board mass because I have updated this already. I'm just waiting for them uh, to merge it back to the actual book. So how do we match uh, our grouping and capturing. So how do we, uh, we, the first way to use capturing group is to refer back to within match with back reference one. So we can say str view, we pass in our string. So we want to match everything that is in this, uh, up in this bracket. So we want to match everything that for the match that is here. Uh, we, we have dots, dots. I, uh, two forward slash and one. So that one means we want to match everything that for, is here. So we can see, uh, we can see we have this uh, Coco, which is a repeated word. So these are repeated. This is a repeated word. We want to match, we match this repeated, this repeated, this is a repeated word. So we can use it in first way of capturing group is to refer back to within match. So we want to, where we have matches within that group of words, so we can pull it out, uh, which is uh, which is very useful. So we can have str view. This is our word. Uh, we want everything, but not this. I think everything, but and this one finds all word that starts and end with the same pair of letters. It starts and it ends with the same pair of letter. So this one, it starts with C and it ends with H. It starts with CH, it ends with what? CH. It starts with DE, it ends with DE. It starts with PH, it ends with PH. It starts with RE, 
it ends with R A. It starts with S A, it ends with S C. I think this, these are very useful. You can also use back references like in STR replace, we can replace it with a specific uh, pattern. So we can have sentences, STR replace, we pass in our, our string and we pass in a back reference. So this we are making reference to this string. Then we are using the, the STR view. So STR view to view the results. So we can just get our text out. You really, I think uh, where you really appreciate this, maybe when you are doing actual like uh, text analysis using maybe like the tidy text package, uh, then you really appreciate all what you have learned reading through this chapter. I think that is where you really appreciate. So like if you want to extract uh, matches for each group, you can use the, we can use the str match to check where we have we have uh, the actual match uh, within that our text so we have our sentences str match str match so we are checking for this pattern and then we look for the head but this one will returns uh, a vector back so how do we get a data frame back so for us to get a data frame back we use s names str match so we use as underscore table dot names repair should be minimal and then set names which will be match word one and what so in this case we are going to get a table back which we can use which we can work in using uh the tidyverse uh, package but this approach we can achieve this using uh, the separate wider regex. Can, we can also use it uh, to tackle this same problem to get this same results, because in that case, we just need to pass in a regular expression that will extract uh, those texts, We're going to split it uh, into their different columns. So in this case, we can also do it in this way where we have a string, uh, we are using str match, we pass in the string, we check for our pattern, just give us a vector. It just uh, give us a, a vector of uh, actual outputs because I will not, uh, I will not uh, waste most time. I, would, I just want to end by five entertain questions. Then we continue, I will wrap up uh, the chapter by next week because I don't intend to finish uh, the chapter this week. So here we have pattern pattern control in uh, in the regular expression flags. So we can have uh, our string, okay? STR view, we passed in our string. So what pattern are we checking for? We want to check for all where we have banana and this is banana, okay? So we have our STR view, banana, regex, banana, Ignore dot cases should be true. So it's gonna be banana, banana, and banana. Because here we have bananas. We have three different types, lower, upper. So we, if you want, if you want, if you want to pull out everything that is in this banana, we just need to pass the ignore dot cases, uh, set it to true. So in that case, it's going to pull everything out. So in this case, maybe we have a regular expression that is spread into a different line. This is line one, this is line two, this is line three. How do we pull them out? How do we pull them out? So we can say str view of x and dot line, or we, for actual, we can use str view, then we use regex dot line dot all to be true. So in that case, it's going to pull out uh, the multi-line Or, or we can we can stick to this to just add this multi-line equals to true after using the regex on the line. So it's going to put spread out our regex uh, into into different into different lines. So here we have phone. We have a regex. This is our regular expression. Then comments 
uh, equals to true. So we want to STR match. So what are the patterns? We are checking for all this pattern from where the phone. So where this pattern is true, so it's just going to go there and pull out all the numbers that are uh, that are in this uh, in this uh, regex. It's just going to pull it out and return and return uh, our output for us. That's in here. They are what they are trying to do is a similar thing. Uh, is to check for this specific pattern, check for another pattern. So it's just going to return where, uh, where, where we have a match. So this one is fixed matches. So for fixed matches, like for period, so how do we, how do we extract it out? Just say fix this. So it's just going to give us, because we have period only in one position, it's just going to, it's just going to, pull it out. So what about if we want to ignore other cases? It's just for us to put ignore case equals to true. So it's going to give us every other things, every other things that is in the, that is in the regex. So they do explain that to put these ideas into practice, we will solve a few mini Authentic problem next, we will discuss three general techniques, checking your work by creating simple uh, positive and negative controls, combining regular expression with Boolean algebra, uh, creating complex pattern using string uh, manipulation. So I think I will stop here. I think I will stop here. So let me take notes. So I stop at 17.6. So I'll take questions so that we continue. We we'll continue our discussion. 17.6, which is practice. Uh, hello, are there any questions? So we'll continue from here next week. So that I can't, I can't hear you. He said, we will go and digest it and come back with our question maybe next week. Okay, no problem. I think uh, we'll end here for today. So we'll continue from it uh, here next week. See you all next week. Thank you for joining today.